So I bring in all the wishes uh, from the entire faculty team of speed and speed administration to Dr. Uh, Grace Mandana for scoring rank number six in uh, MCH head and neck surgery and uh, in session of NEED SS 2021. Congratulations, greetings to you. Thank you so much, sir. Fantastic. Now, can we know uh, a background of uh, Dr. Grace, where she did her medicine and ENT masters and uh, and then to head and neck? I mean, can we know about that? I'm from Andhra Pradesh, sir. I did my MBBS from Kannur Medical College, 2012 batch, sir. And I did my MS from Narayana Medical College, Nellore, 2018 batch, sir. And I have completed my MS in August 2021, sir. And now currently doing as a senior resident at Kannur Medical College, Andhra Pradesh, sir. Uh, ever since I joined my residency, I was so interested in head and neck cases, sir, due to the Especially the cancer part, sir. So, um, since these three years, I only dreamt of taking MCH head and neck surgery, sir. Very good, very good, excellent. Now, uh, can you uh, tell us, because most of the students choose ENT, ophthal, all these uh, specialties because it's an end speciality. They want to settle with that. After doing that and you want to go for a super speciality, I mean, appreciated, well appreciated. It's a fact, sir, but now the trend has been changing, sir. Yeah, there is no concept of end speciality or an end branch sir, nowadays. Uh, even after super speciality, also there are uh, other specializations also, sir. And, um, and one should not be limited with whatever we get, I believe in it, sir. And then uh, we have a lot of advancements in ENT also, but we have less exposure for that. In our southern states, especially, I think so. So, so someone should get into this so that other people will follow. So, the end is only MCH? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not a MCH also. There can, there can be some fellowships also after MCH also. Now, uh, can we know from Dr. Grace, I mean, uh, when she started the preparation for uh, MCH at her neck and how she started, what all she did? And uh, how you all went through this process to land in rank number six? Actually, I started preparation after my MS exam, sir, in August 2021. Um, I watched all the speciality videos, sir. And Dr. Teja, sir's classes were very nice, sir. Sir was very concise and will concentrate especially on the topics, what will be given in the exam. And actually, we don't have any idea about this exam, sir, during our uh, PG days or and we don't have any seniors also getting into the speciality. So, sir will give an idea about what to read, which books to refer, what are the parts in the exam, what is the general surgery part we have to read. And very concise and very precise, sir. Uh, I made all the list and of the books to be read for which topics and um, all the notes I have taken from the videos, sir. They were very helpful, sir. Sir was the only guy for me, sir. He was a very precise man. He will not trouble you, he will not uh, burden you too much. Yes, sir. He will not speak of uh, any other things also, sir. Uh, only the whatever is asked in the exam, he will just say it in the classes, sir. If you little allow him, he will give the entire question paper also. <laughs> yeah, sir. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, nothing extra. Very focused and... Uh, Yes, Tom. Yes. And now I want to tell you the entire all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all head and neck surgery or from speed only. Yes, I wanted to thank you for that, sir. Uh, while I was uh, searching for a platform for preparing, head and neck surgery was not at all offered by any other platform, sir. Uh, even though the people for appearing for this is very limited, uh, speed has provided all the facilities, sir. <laughs> I'm very grateful for that, sir. Because let's have the platform look where more number of students write so that we can give courses. Uh, but yes, here the purpose yes, of speed is to accommodate all the courses for students. Let it be one student also we are connecting course. There is one specialty, yes, clinical pharmacology. That's so helpful. Sir. Clinical pharmacology, one or two students. This time only 20 students have written. Even for that we run yes, a course. Sir. So. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. So, the vision is like that. So, and what is a message that you want to give to your juniors and friends 
and uh, if they are aspiring for from an ENT background or a general surgery background, if they want to prepare for a head and neck MCH surgery, what uh, they should do, your message for them. Yes, sir. Um, I will advise the juniors that don't limit your options. There are a lot of options after your MS also. Uh, try to explore them, find your interests and work hard for that consistently with all the planning. Do the basic research of where you'll get it and uh, stick to your source and uh, prepare it and revise it multiple times. So. An opportunity to thank. So, so far, who have been important to you, you can thank right now to build your medical yes, career yes. so far. Yes, sir. And firstly, I would like to thank God Almighty for giving me this noble profession. And then I'll thank my parents, sir. They were a constant support throughout this journey, sir. So many people have discouraged us um, and because there are no one to guide through this specialty, sir. But my parents and my family supported a lot, sir. And especially the speed team, sir, for providing the <laughs> courses despite of very few students. And your general surgery classes were very good, sir. Thank you, doctor. Um, we <laughs> actually, we, coming from an ENT background, reading all the general surgery, which we have not read for peers, is very tough, sir. Those daily classes and daily based classes were very helpful, sir. And I like to thank Dr. Teja, sir, sir. He's a huge inspiration for me, sir. Um, yeah. Thank you, sir. Very good, doctor. Once again, I wish you all the best and all the success uh, for a great so career much, in head and neck surgery MCH. Thank you. Best sir. wishes. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.